What's up growers? Today, we're gonna to show you how to replace the pH probe on your grow bell. In general, we recommend that you calibrate it every three months or between every single grow. And then we recommend that you replace it every year. And that's because there's some solution in it that actually gets used up over time and it's no longer gonna give you the right pH readings. So let's dive into it. We're gonna start on the back of your grow bell. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna unplug your grow bell. This is very important just to be safe. Next, we're gonna open up this access hatch here that's held on with one thumb screw. You can easily undo the thumb screw and you'll find that the hatch comes right open. Once you have the back access hatch open, you're gonna be looking for these two connectors. The top one is the pH connector and the bottom one is the EC connector. We're gonna undo the pH connector because that's what we're switching. On the inside, you can see that there's one uh, collar here that you're able to actually grab. You wanna take that and then twist it to the left. So you're gonna twist it counterclockwise. You wanna push in a little bit as you do it. Once you've twisted it, you can pull straight back and out. And the connector is gonna come off for you. This is what the connection piece looks like that you're actually twisting as well. Once you've unplugged your pH sensor from the back, turn your grobo around to the front again. You're then gonna remove this water cover. Take that out and you can put it to the side. Next, you're gonna pick up the pH sensor. Now there are two different sensors in your grobo. The one that you're looking for has a crown-like shape with some holes at the end of it. This is your pH sensor. Once you've found this sensor, in this case, we have it in its storage container already, then you'll follow the wire around to the back of the tank. You're able to pull the tank forward, which will allow you to pull out the wires of the sensor. The sensor cable can be quite long, and so that's okay if a lot of that comes out with it. Now you've finished the first step. You've already removed your pH sensor and you're ready to install the new one. To install the new sensor, you're gonna follow the exact same process, just in reverse. So the very first thing you'll do is take the connector end and feed that down behind the tank. You're able to pull the tank forward a little bit to make that happen. When you're feeding it down, make sure you feed it down on the back left side. That's gonna put it in a really easy spot to find when you turn your grobo around. So just put a little bit of that cable down there. Next, you're gonna turn your grobo around again. Once you've fed your connector through the back, you should be able to easily find it by just putting your hand up here. In our case, it actually came right out the back access hatch. We're gonna now reconnect this to the empty slot, which is the top one. What you're trying to do is line up the slot that you're gonna see in the connector to the pins that you're gonna actually see uh, on the other end of the connector. So slide that slot over. And once it's over, you have to actually lock it in place by turning that ring clockwise again. You should hear a snap as it goes into place and you shouldn't be able to pull it out easily. When you're ready, replace the cover. You're gonna make sure that this lip is actually on the inside and then you're able to put the thumb screw back in. You don't wanna over tighten this uh, just because that'll make it harder when you have to remove it next. Back at the front of your grobo now, you're gonna take the sensor, take the top cap off, and then slide it into the hole in the white cover here. Once that's done, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of material still left over, a bunch of this wire. You can just tuck it back in behind the water tank. That excess is there just to make the install a little bit easier. And so you'll tuck it behind and around the tank. Just like that, you've replaced your pH sensor. The next step you have to do is calibrate the sensor and you can check out our video below on how that works. 
Calibration will only take you five to 10 minutes to get done and is a necessary step so that your Grobo functions properly. That's it, have fun, happy growing.